Hi, I'm Summer School Doodle, and it's nice to be back again. If it's your first time here, we attempt to highlight the takeaways for the week in this segment. And today, we will be wrapping up for the month of July. This week in particular, we explore the question, how far is God willing to go to get me fit for heaven? Let's find out. Premise of the problem. You see, when we commit our lives to Jesus, we get enrolled into the school of Christ. Some in kindergarten, others in high school, and yet others in college. Regardless of your class, the graduation prerequisite for this university is the character of Christ. However, this character is developed not by talking, but by doing. So the, the real question is, how does God address this problem without interfering with my freedom of choice? We are about to find out. To address this problem, God proportionately, according to our classes, allows each one of us to be exposed to fit for purpose crucibles in at character development. Now what this means is that the real reason the test is allowed in the first place is the anticipated deliverable being character development. What to remember? So when next we are exposed to these crucibles, if rather than dwell on the details of the problem, we humbly submit to God's tutelage and acquire the desired character for which that test was allowed in the first place, we graduate and we may not need to continue some tests. You don't believe me? Well, ask Father Abraham. Usually, these crucible experiences are not palatable at all. But we may sometimes risk misunderstanding God and his intentions when the heat is on. You don't believe me? Ask Father Abraham. Or maybe Brother Job. What to remember here? If we take the time now to build a relationship of trust and obedience with God before the storm, we will know for certain that the shepherd never ever abandons his sheep regardless. We might not always fully understand the test, but we can always trust the intentions of God. So in a nutshell, here are the takeaways for the month of July. One, there are a variety of sources of crucible experiences and no one is immune to them, not even Christians. Two, we cannot avoid them, or we can choose to be compassionate and supportive of one another as we navigate through them. Three, God proportionately, according to our classes, allows each one of us to be exposed to a fit for purpose crucible aimed at character development. They are not meant to harm, but to purify us. 4. The reason for the test is the intended deliverable being character development. So when next God pushes you to the edge of difficulty, trust him fully, knowing one of these will happen eventually. It's either God will catch you when you fall, or he will teach you how to fly. Happy Sabbath.